Hello and welcome. This is the first video I've done for a long time just for my channel, the Cameron Daniels channel. Um, I'm going to keep it open. I never thought I would. I thought after two years I would never go back to YouTube. But I decided to do YouTubing yet again. Um, mainly because, well, I've got another channel. There's you no know, two channels that I have, uh, but the second one I have with my partner. Um, and the channel's called Cameron and Blue. That's about with Eddie. Um, so uh, if you ever want to see other videos other than Bolt Wanderer stuff, then come to that channel and see reactions generally and just life moments uh, and unboxings as well. You get something new, unboxing, yeah. So you know the drill. Um, me as a Bolt Wanderer though, I'm going to do Bolt Wanderer videos on this channel only. Um, and I'm going to do my, I guess, rants or political rants or whatever. I'm going to be on this channel, uh, the Cameron Daniels channel. Um, <clears throat> so what's been happening in the last two years, or three years? I don't even know how long it's been since I last did a proper reaction. I mean, I think the last reaction I did was on when Phil Parkinson was in charge. I mean, Jesus, how bad can it get? I mean, they were really dark days. We had a terrible owner who was asset stripping us and killing us financially. Uh, we had uh, Phil Parkinson who played the most dreadful football you'll ever see in your life. Um, yeah. And to be at the time, I didn't go to many games. Um, I didn't have the finances to go out, I still don't know. Um, the difference for me, well, there's two things really. Uh, I live quite far away from Bolton these days. Uh, and it costs a lot on transport to get there and so going to games is a nightmare. I'm hoping like last season, so this is the second thing, I'm hoping like last season they've got I follow. Uh, because last season um, I basically paid for every single game home and away. Uh, apart from that stupid competition, uh, which I can't even think what it's called, the old Chirp Van competition. All the Premier League reserve sides in it, which is the most ridiculous thing in the world. Um, completely waste of time. And he wants to really play in that. It's just a wasted competition. So, uh, yeah, I didn't watch them, but I watched everything else. Um, I saw Bolton build from being absolutely terrible against Bradford in the first game of the season. I mean, <laughs> Everett talks about getting the ball forward and scoring goals and what. He could either get it. He could either get the attackers. Well, he could either get any balls to Owen Doyle all game. Um, it was just it was a nightmare. Um, then I saw the sort of like the, the five games in November when we were we, well apart from the one in the stupid cup competition we beat Newcastle, but we won five games on the trot. Things looked to be turning around. Then we had that terrible game against Port Vale, where you could just see they were going to score some goals. We looked open all game. We did from the very first minute. Uh, and then, of course, I saw all the... from the uh, beginning of Feb, when we were in 20th. And we won everything, pretty much. Um, apart from the last couple of defeats. Um, got to do it the draw, Bradford, of course. That was gutting. But, yeah, to see them go up against the Crawley and to absolutely hammer them. Um, magic, absolute magic. Um, that last half of the season, wasn't really half of the season, was absolutely phenomenal. It was fantastic. I think all Bolton fans who saw that think that. I want to get a season ticket, but I just don't think it's feasible. And that frustrates me a little bit. I'm just hoping I follow off some games on. Uh, because I want to see my team again. I want to see them we, last, last season. I fell in love with watching football again, week in, week out. I hadn't done that for years. I fell in love with Bolton Wanderers again because the type of football we're playing was fantastic. So I'm frustrated. I'm probably not going to get a season ticket, but I'll still do Bolton reactions. Um, so anyway, um, we seem to have got quite a few new players in. Um, I don't think Ali Crawford will be at the club much longer. Uh, 
what else? Liam Gordon, I'm very surprised. And I read a piece in the Morton News about uh, Liam Gordon and the fact that he um, has done very well in pre-season so far. Apparently, I don't know what people actually think he's been to the actual pre-season games. Um, that's interesting, I thought it was dreadful left back last season. Uh, I thought Moscow was much better, but Moscow then went as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. It looks like he's going to be the backup to Declan John. Declan John, what a fantastic sign he is. I mean, he is way above League 2 level, and he's way above League 1 level, in my opinion, as I think most people would agree with. Um, that buffer lining, phenomenal for us when he came in. I mean, the first couple of switches he had, uh, when he came on, he came on with Madison in the first game that he played, and his touch was magnificent. It was instant. Um, and I think we all knew that something good was coming. Um, and yeah, I mean, he was a phenomenal signing for us, uh, for the League 2 side. I mean, he could play higher up than League 2, uh, League 1, I'm sure. Um, so, I would say that we've got a really good chance this season of doing something really good in League 1. Um, I know ever and all the crew at Bolton Wanderers think that they should be competing at the top end. Well, that's all we compete at the top end and get promoted back to the Championship as quickly as possible because we need to be in that league at least. Um, um, we're still a big club, we're still definitely a big club in League 1. We're the biggest in League 1. If you look at uh, uh, the length of time we've been in the top division, Historically, then yes, we probably are. If you're talking about the amount of fans we get, then no, we aren't. I mean, I'm sure Sheffield Wednesday and uh, Sunderland will get far behind. I mean, Sunderland's friends in arms compared to ours. Um, but that's what you get on the cheap. I mean, yeah. They paid, what, what's the price for the ground that we did for ours? It's, it's phenomenal how much they spent on it. And uh, to get the size of capacity that they actually have. Um, anyway, di digresses. Uh, let's hope this season is a great season for Bolton Wanderers. Um, I'm hoping I follow a real so at least I can watch the games. Um, and if not, at least I'll be able to watch the extended highlights and they're, they're going to do that this season. Um, because I need to see my team like everybody else who's a Bolton Wanderer. Um, so, Corny White. Bye for now.